Hi, I'm Thomas from CLAP, and in this video I will walk you through the Design Review Playbook. Design reviews are ideal for product designers and managers who need to bring non-designers into the design iterative process, and yet avoid scheduling many meetings for this purpose. This playbook will show you how to use async video collaboration with CLAP to run design reviews with your team. This will help you iterate faster by offering flexibility to your teammates and stakeholders, improving overall feedback quality, and helping to identify actions to be taken. Step one is to record your screen and go through your latest design. Recording is easy. For example, I have here a Figma design open, and I can easily create a new video to show my design by clicking on the clap icon in the Chrome bar. Just click on record clap, and then choose to share the screen, a window, or a specific Chrome tab, depending on your case. Once the recording starts, I can then just walk through my design file. And once done, click Stop and Save. This way, when you record your club, you can show your design directly where your team builds wireframes or prototypes, in Figma, InVision, or Adobe XD, for example, and anyone will be able to view your design proposal without requiring an additional license on the tool that you're using. In this real-life example, Sean, a product designer, is conducting a design review about the description feature in CLAP, which we wanted to improve. He starts the recording by reminding the context and the problem he is trying to solve, before actually jumping into the proposed solution and walking through the mockups. As you can see, he will pause and zoom in on specific areas to present the design, and allow his teammates to pay attention to UI details and interaction flows. In order to receive some relevant and actionable feedback from your team, you need to be clear on your asks in your recording and explain when and how your team can contribute. Highlight when you expect feedback from stakeholders with written comments and direct mentions. And if you need to easily collect feedback from a large audience or capture preferences at a glance, you can even add polls. Your teammates will then be able to vote on their preferred option. Back in Shun's recording, you can see how he navigates through the mockups, explaining details along the way. At this moment in the video, he's using a poll combined with in context feedback to ask a specific question about this part of the feature. And later on, he's asking viewers for their preference among two design options, again, doing this with a poll. Step three is to share your video and align stakeholders. First, create a design reviews topic in CLAP to centralize your recordings and use labels to keep track of their individual status. You can even connect your design review topic with Slack to automatically post new reviews into the appropriate Slack channel and notify your team that way. Of course, you can also share your recording by simply providing a direct link to your teammates or using the share menu. And at any time, you can see who has watched the video and when. Once the video is shared, you will start collecting feedback and letting your teammates annotate the video with their comments. Engage directly with your team as they start to provide some feedback and respond to your specific asks. And finally, make decisions and build alignment about your design by turning this feedback you have received into actionable next steps to refine your design proposal. So there you go. Try to use Cloud for your next design review to boost creativity, build alignment, and develop better features. And let us know how it went.